Well, good morning. Tracy here with today's mask review, and today I am going to do uh, Michael Myers, the 2018 uh, movie mask. Um, this, there, there was two of them put out uh, that year by Trick or Treat. One has the hole in the face where he was shot uh, towards the end of the movie and uh, the other one does not. Um, let me just give you a little background on this one. This one here was um, put out by Trick or Treat Studios. It is a full head latex mask and this one had three sculptors on uh, working on it. Uh, Christopher Nilsson, Vincent Van Dyke, and Justin Mabry. And I didn't realize this, but 2018, that would be 40 years ago when the first one came out. The first one came out in 1978, the first Halloween movie. I was like, wow, <laughs> these guys have been at it for a long time. Anyways, uh, let's get into a little bit of the review. Um, this one here has, uh, it appears to be the wool fiber hair glued onto it. And, you know, I keep waiting for them to come out with some hair that's a little bit different than the, the wool. Uh, the wool's okay, but the wool mats really easy. Uh, but it is something that's used all the time. Um, the details on this one and the painting are fantastic. I they just awesome job. They did just an awesome job on this. At first, I wasn't too thrilled about the way the the blood red, you know, the streaks down it looked. Uh, don't really care for it when it's close up, but further away, it looks perfectly fine. Now, if you had, if you were going to wear this one, you would definitely want to do something on your own face, you know, uh, black or red, you know, just you don't want your white skin showing. Now, this one here, I just have a mannequin head inside it, so it looks a little, a little off. Um, what else? Uh, the latex is, oh gosh, probably about. It's it's on the thinner side, about a sixteenth of an inch, so about the thickness of a dime. But it does seem to hold its form well. I will try this on like I do all the other ones. I I am questioning a little bit. This one does seem to be on the small side. It did say that it was an exact replica. Um, and oh yeah you know something else I noticed this has a number so they possibly are numbering all these which is kind of cool this one's like what 1668 that's a few of them huh a few of those out there so let's go ahead and try it on and I will tell you how how it fits. My head's probably a little bit on the bigger side, so if it fits me, it'll fit most. I'm gonna have to be really careful because I really hate messing up the hair on these, but let, let's give this a shot and see how we're gonna do. Well, there it is. It 
is tight on me. It's uh, fits like a glove. <laughs> it uh, it wasn't uncomfortable, but but it was tight. It was be honest with you, it almost felt like it was made for for my head. I mean, it was just like just everything just seemed to be right there. The nose fit right up into the nose. It does have does have a nose does have nose holes and it does have a mouth slit and it's it's a good looking mask if you're into collecting them this this I really like this one this is really do love the paint job they did on this one I mean it it just really I love the shading and and it just turned out really well you know when I put this one on the shelf I'm gonna probably do something with a black you know with a black head put fabric over one of the white mannequin heads or something just so the this doesn't show up white but uh, God, that's just a good looking mask did a good job so I will do like I always do I'll put this on the carousel so you can watch it spin around and kind of get an idea of it and like always I will put a link wherever it is on your screen I'll put a link of possible places where you can pick this up at and you know please like share leave comments follow me <laughs> Um, all that fun stuff. Well, you guys have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.